What's going on, world? I go by the name of CA Revolution, and we have another episode of React. Today's episode, I want to talk to you about coming out of the atmosphere. Before we even get into the video, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to comment anytime throughout the video. Let's get into it. And the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to being in an atmosphere, a particular setting is what creates that atmosphere. And I think that most people would agree that you are or your mindset is a combination of a few things circumstances surroundings and thoughts and circumstances surroundings and thoughts have a lot to do with what you experience before or what you desire to experience so for me i have a pretty traumatic background so a lot of my circumstances my thoughts and my surroundings depending on what atmosphere i want to be in is going to surround myself on the trauma that i've already experienced the purpose of this video is to encourage you to come out of a potential negative mindset or a potential negative atmosphere Sphere and transition into something that's going to be more beneficial towards your purpose and what you're designed to do. For me, I use the analogy of being in a black hole. And so you have to ask yourself, what does it take to come out of a black hole? And it's pretty easy. One, move around until you see the light. Two, you have to ask. You have to be audible. You have to be vocal and ask for help. And then three, you have to have some sort of direction. You have to be able to receive directions. So imagine being in a black hole and you can't just stay still. The, the atmosphere that you're in right now, is it something that's just draining you? It sucks the life out of you? Maybe it's producing fear in you. Maybe this um, atmosphere is, maybe this atmosphere is hindering your growth. Maybe this atmosphere is draining to you. Maybe this atmosphere is causing you to be depressed or sad. What is the atmosphere that you need to come out of doing to you? And how can you ask for direction? How can you move around and see and try to find a light? How can you be verbal or vocal and ask for help. A lot of times we are addicted to our black hole. A lot of times we find ourselves being addicted to our atmosphere. And because we're addicted to the atmosphere, we make it challenging to grow beyond it. We're used to our neighborhood. We're familiar with our city. So instead of expanding ourselves and moving outside of a familiar territory, we'd rather stay still and accept whatever non-changes happen. We'd rather adapt to the norm of the atmosphere that's dreadful or hurtful or not conducive to where we need to be, then get comfortable with process. Let's talk about that. We have to get comfortable with process and get comfortable with being change agents. We have to be comfortable with change, period. And in the atmosphere where you're trying to leave one thing to connect with a better version of you, to connect with a purposeful version of you, you have to be able to transition from your old to your new. And the old to new process is change. You have to be familiar. You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I'll tell you this quick story. I went back home to hang out with one of my uncles. I'm from Ohio. I live in Florida. I went back home to hang out with one of my uncles. And this uncle, uh, Uncle Scott, what's up, Uncle Scott? He always cooks. This man cooks, cooks, cooks. I feel like since I was a kid, anytime I come to my grandmother's house or I went to his house or just anywhere, Uncle Scott is on the grill. He's cooking. And I, I remember going to his cabinet this time because now I started cooking a little bit. So I'm like, man, I'm like, Unc, what kind of seasonings do you use? And so he started exposing me to seasonings I never heard of, to different cultural seasonings and spices and things that I wasn't familiar with. So he expanded my palate. And I think about if I would have just stayed in the same cooking atmosphere or if I would have just stayed with the same recipes, how I would continue to eat the same things, even though they may be different, they're generally going to taste the same. But because he expanded in my palate, there's more diversity in how I can maneuver now. I'm a little more culturally aware, so that way if I do stumble across someone that I want to cook for, for, and they may be Hispanic or they may be Oriental, now I have a little more, I have a little more um, machinery, I have a little more weaponry, so I can diversify what is what my experience with them, or I can expose them to being in an experience with me that would be, that would bridge the gap and make us more comfortable. What about your atmosphere? It's too familiar. It's so familiar that it's detrimental. It's so familiar that the commonality is, is predictable. There's nothing new about you. There's nothing fresh about you. Everything that you do from what you wear to where you're going to smell like to the jokes you're going to tell, the stories you're going to tell, everything about you is predictable because you chose to stay in the atmosphere too long. Come out of the atmosphere. Come out of the atmosphere that tells you you're not qualified. Come out of the atmosphere that tells you you can't. Come out of the atmosphere that puts you in depression. Come out of the atmosphere that tells you that you just are not enough. Come out of that atmosphere. You have to be 
familiar, you have to be comfortable with change, with the process of change. And the last thing I want to talk about is that growth aspect of it. Because when you go to a new atmosphere, it forces you to grow in ways that your previous atmosphere hasn't. So I, I ask you this question, is your growth retired? Is your growth on standstill? Is it on ice? Is it delayed? Is it finished? What about you is begging you to leave what's behind to embrace something that's new? I want to tell you this. You're worthy of the new. You're qualified for the new. The new is waiting for you. And it's all in a different atmosphere. So I encourage you to come out of the atmosphere, embrace the new, like, share, subscribe, follow. Thank you so much. Peace.